Hey guys. So, it's day three of the challenge, okay? And for day three, we're gonna focus on, um, I'm gonna tell you my rituals, my daily rituals, three to five rituals, that I'm going to implement starting immediately for 2021 to go get me towards my goals. And I want you to post a video telling me what are gonna be your three to five daily rituals that are gonna get you to where you need to be in 2021 and get you to shift on to your best year ever that leads to your best decade ever and best century ever. And not about what happens around you, not about politics, not about things you don't control, but in terms of what you control. Here we go. So, my three to five rituals. Uh, number one is appreciation. Each day and each night. So what I do is um, appreciation and, and also uh, praying. So, very important, okay? I spend time studying the miracles that are going on every second of my life. My heart pounding every second of my life since the second I was created in my mother's womb for, the, for my entire life. No vacations, no breaks, no nothing. I focus on appreciating that. I focus on appreciating my hands, my feet, my eyes. I focus on all these different things. So I, I find 18 things at a minimum every day and night that's my first ritual for 2021, to find these 18 things every day, every night, minimum to focus on. I usually go way beyond that, but at least 18. And to do that ritual, and to pray, and to pray not out of, of uh, that's another thing, praying not out of, um, I used to in the past pray desperately. You ever done that before? Like when you're lost and you're like, oh, help me. I'm talking about not waiting for it to get there. And yes, if you're desperate, you pray too. But, uh, but I'm talking about just praying when things are great. Just praying out of love. Just praying out of wanting to get closer to your maker every day in this world and to see that in your life. And that's what I'm talking about. So appreciation and prayer and taking it to the, to the next level. That's my first ritual for 2021. The second ritual is total immersion. Total immersion via no extra time, net action. So what that means is uh, I'm doing so much, I'm juggling so much that I'm, that I'm working on developing. And what I'm doing is I'm spending a lot of my time studying as well because studying is the most important uh, part of growth. And therefore, what I'll do is I'll do that with no extra time. So as I'm going for my exercise routine, as I'm going for a walk, as I'm going traveling somewhere, as I'm doing whatever, I'll put stuff in the background to listen to. You know, I'll, I'll go and I'll utilize, um, you know, growth and progress with no extra time. So I'm always listening to good stuff. And instead of having the darn news in, in the background that's there to corrupt me and make me sad and, and put me in a crisis mode of belief, I listen to good stuff. Stuff that helps me get uplifted. Stuff that helps me grow. Stuff that helps me live beautifully every single day and every single way. So that's my second ritual. Total immersion via using no extra time. Third ritual. Uh, to trade on paper, uh, which I've been doing. I have to catch up with the posting. Like I said, I'm juggling a lot uh, to post on paper and then uh, each day and then to um, trade uh, live each day. So basically to trade on paper continuously as I'm doing through the challenge and to continue doing that until I'm basically immediately transitioning uh, within a week or so to a live account where I start using that as a parameter of why people should come and get involved with me and build things up and we get those initial investors and build up upon that and build like this huge empire hedge fund leading one in the world and not because I'm whatever anything than anyone else better or whatever or smarter or whatever it's just you know I spent a lot of years learning experiencing and I go and I study the best of the best and I believe that I can have a competitive edge for people over the long term to do well in the markets 
and um, with their investments, and that's what the kind of fund we're going to be, uh, be building. Okay, so to trade on paper first, and then take it to um, that's the ritual. Every day I'm trading. Okay, uh, every business day, you know, uh, except holidays and stuff, and and that's you know that's my second part to trade each day. The fourth ritual is to com um, okay. Uh, did I write okay, completely manage trading and to Okay, the other part, besides the trading, the next ritual is what I'm doing right now. I'm uh, creating videos and I'm creating a challenge where people for free, do you understand what's going on for free? Not for a week, not for a few days, but for free, for 30 days that can span over a few months. It's like an intensive coaching experience for free and I'm offering that to you. And that's the, the other ritual where I'm producing content for that challenge so that groups of people can benefit for that. And it's not going to be free forever. Eventually, I'm going to charge for this very well, especially when I build my brand. And it's because when people pay, they pay a lot better attention. And if you don't pay, you just discount it, even though what I'm providing to you guys is like crazy, crazy valuable. I didn't come to these conclusions by accident. I've been studying it like a scientist day after day after day after week after month after year, you know, and I've been studying people that have been doing it for decades. So it's like different people, not even one, like massive numbers. So what I'm, what I'm providing is, is going to be very valuable, I believe. And that's the other part of my ritual to produce and to complete this challenge and to spend time each day working on, on that. And then the final two things, uh, well, it's the fifth. Uh, ritual but the final two things is to produce content each day and each working day when i say day i mean five to six days a week uh not including holidays okay so five six days a week to produce content uh, each day my goal is really to try to aim to produce like dozens or even a hundred pieces of content each day which is a challenge uh because you know it's, it's not easy it takes a lot of time but the 100 pieces could be even like if I post like something on Twitter that adds value, like a quick, you know, thing or, you know, that counts as a content or if I post a video on YouTube or if I post something on TikTok or if I, you know, uh, cross-reference stuff, whatever. I mean, it all counts, but to produce that content each day. And then the other part of that fifth ritual is to do a eighty each day. I learned this from Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary, the awesome guy to study. Um, and he says that... Uh, you need to go and put your two cents 90 times a day. Find people that are in something that you're very passionate about and go and post um, uh, 90 times responding to something they write and that's $1.80 each day. So that's the other part of my ritual, to, to respond to other people, uh, whether it's via groups, whether it's via social media, but things that add value. And one thing that I, I can tell you guys that's really gonna be helpful for you, okay? People say, but I don't have time. That's baloney. We all have the same time. Whether you're Oprah, whether you're Tony Robbins, whether you're Michelle, or whoever you are, we all have the same number of hours per day. 24 hours a day. The question is how we use it, okay? And how much of that time is destructive to us? How much of the time is putting us in the wrong state? It's enough. Don't waste one second on, on garbage stuff that you don't need, on news that's, you know, consistently putting you in this panic state and, and, and making you die a thousand deaths, you know, nothing happens or whatever and you're still worried about it because the news keeps telling you and, and making you visualize all these terrible thoughts and ideas. Forget that, okay? And instead, focus your time and energy on producing content uh, if you want, to share your experiences, to share your life. Go ahead and listen to good people and focus on spending your time doing challenges like this and changing your life and planning your life and, and finding things that add value to you. That's the most important thing, okay? Don't waste your time, okay? Like I said, don't waste your time on things that don't add value to yourself. I'm not telling you how to live. You live however you want. It's your life given by God for you to choose and enjoy. But why hurt yourself? Because that's what you're doing. When you go and you listen to stuff that doesn't serve you and is toxic to you and puts you in a bad state and you visualize it, your body can't tell the difference between if it's really happening or just imagining it. So don't. Shift on. Shift on to living beautifully, living happily, and just let's make this your decade. Okay? Always remember to shift on with shift time. Okay? It is now your turn to post yours.
Life will never be the same. Let's go. Shift on with shift on. It is time. It is time to live your best year, your best decade, your best life.